but uh, thank you very much, Ms. Dutt and Mr. Moore, for uh, being here today and, uh, frankly, for your, your work that you're doing uh, on behalf of all Canadians. Um, not just the principal work that you set out to do with Butler, but also the work that you're doing with respect to accountability and government contracting. It's essential and it's a, it's a, a main function of this committee, so I'm pleased uh, that you've agreed to, to join us and answer some questions. Um, do you have any evidence related to identity theft? Yes. Yes, we do. And are you able to provide that evidence to the committee? Yes. Okay, and is it in written form? Is it in printed form? Well, identity theft is um, in, it's a two-step basically offense, and by all means, I'm not a lawyer, um, but it's a two-step offense which includes um, forgery and um, using identities to receive benefits. Okay. And this is exactly what happened in our case. Okay. Um, with respect to the criminal code offense of fraud on government, what uh, evidence can you provide um, with respect to uh, fraudulent resumes or fraudulent billings? Um, well, fraud, fraud on the government um, particularly uh, entitles individuals who, um, uh, sorry, includes individuals who promise um, or pretend, you know, um, they, they claim or pretend to have influence, some sort of influence with the government and they claim um, compensation for it. And this, uh, ha this we have, um, you know, a, a big record of uh, of Mr. Firth and also his associates, promising um, different kinds of influence, promising contracts, promising, um, you know, opening doors and very specific things, and um, they all request commissions for it. Sorry, if I quickly might add to that. You already have seen an evidence of this in the Globe and Mail. They part, uh, published an ar in the article an email from Firth saying FYI. And if you read that email, he says the amount has been cut, but we can recover it from the next one, which is CRA. That's promising a guaranteed contract with the CRA and also promising that you are going to extract funds from one contract for another. Uh, with respect to the email in that was published in the Globe and Mail, are you able to provide uh, these supporting documents to this? Are you able to table them to this committee? Absolutely. Thank you. Um, with respect to, um, uh, we'll, we'll continue on the list of requests for evidence, um, forgery, collusion, impersonation. Um, these all speak to criminal code offenses. Uh, what evidence can you provide with respect to them? Well, I think for the CVs, we can give you very quickly our original CVs and then the CVs that were provided to the contracting authority to show that we had inflated experience that's going to be the quickest one we also have uh, multiple legal notices that we had sent to the different parties that were involved demanding that they provide proof of our consent to be named on the contracts which we have never provided and through not providing that response um, it is evident that that risk that does not exist so that is another proof that our identity was stolen and used for the execution of the task authorization. And, uh, and uh, Mr. Chair, just to add to that, for fraudulent billing, um, so the payments should have not gone through GC Strategies. The email that um, uh, that was referred to Globe and Mail today from Diane Daly requesting payments to go through GC Strategies, payments should have not gone through GC Strategies. GC Strategies not named on the contract. Um, and also fraudulent billing, um, Ritika can, can um, um, talk about her experience. She wasn't working on the CBSA project, but uh, her name appeared on invoices that Cordic submitted to the CBSA and received payments, and we have proof of payments that was uh, made by the CBSA on invoices for someone who was not working on the project, but her name was, uh, was there. Can you submit those documents to the, uh, to the committee clerk? Sure. Thank you. Christian Firth told you that he was friends and had a relationship with Cameron McDonald. Is that correct? Correct. And in reference to Mr. McDonald, did Mr. Firth tell you, and I quote, I've been with him his whole career in the government, close quote? Correct. Were you ever coached or directed to offer praise of Mr. McDonald? Correct. And who else did Christian Firth tell you he was friends with and had a relationship with in the government? Uh, well, Mr. Uh, Firth had a very wide network of high-level government executives that he was friends with, um, and mostly contracting authorities, C-level government executives, um, assistant. I remember uh, Mr. Firth and one of his associates, they always referred that they um, uh, break their roles, and Mr. Firth was only dealing with DGs and, and up to ADMs, and one of his friends was only uh, dealing with... Uh, 
all the ADMs and DMs. Uh, other contacts that Mr. Uh, Firth actually had those close relationships was uh, uh, the, um, I believe, a director general and acting chief information officer of Transport Canada, another uh, agency that uh, um, wanted to uh, procure Butler. I'm afraid I uh, have to interrupt. That is.